Umar bin Wahhab The Battle of Badr was a huge triumph for Islam and Muslims. It left behind its disgrace and shame upon the Quraysh. The most honorable and esteemed leaders of Quraysh were killed, and Muslims captured large numbers of them. The survivors considered themselves lucky because they were not killed or captured by the brave Muslim warriors. Umar bin Wahhab was one of the survivors. He returned alive, but he left behind his son Wahhab, who was captured in the grasp of Muslims. Umar feared that the Muslims would torture the boys severely for his father's guilt as recompensation for the torture he used to inflict on the Muslims. So he went to the mosque to perform the circumambulation of the Kaaba and to seek blessings from its idols. Then he sat with his cousin Safwan bin Umayyah. They were talking about Badr and its great pain and counted the number of those who were captured by the Muslims. They grieved for the leaders of Quraysh who were killed and then Umar said, I swear to Allah, except for the debts that I am unable to repay and my children who I fear might be lost after me, I would ride to Muhammad and kill him and stop his evil. My arrival to Medina will not raise suspicion because the existence of my son Wahhab is among them. Safwan listened to Umair's speech and said, Let your debt on me, I will repay it for you. Regarding your children, I will look after your children with mine as long as I live. Umair said, So keep our conversation secret and do not tell anyone about it. Umair reached Medina and proceeded to the mosque, looking for the Messenger of God, peace be upon him. When he got close to his door, he got off his camel, and Umar bin al-Khattab, God be pleased with him, saw him coming towards the mosque with his sword. Umar hurried to the Prophet, peace be upon him, and said, O Messenger of Allah, here is the enemy of Allah, Umar ibn Wahhab, carrying his sword, and I think he wants evil only. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Let him in. Then the Messenger, peace be upon him, went to Umar and said, Why are you here, Umar? He said, I have come for the sake of this captive between your hands. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Tell me the truth, Umar. Why are you here? Umar said, I have come only for this purpose. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, But rather you sat with Safwan ibn Umayyah and you said, Except for the debts and my children, I would ride and kill Muhammad. Safwan promised to repay your debts so that you will kill me. Umair was astonished by the words of the Prophet, peace be upon him, and said, I declare that you are the messenger of God. We used to say that you were lying when you spoke to us about faith and about the revelations you received. But no one knows about the secret of Safwan and I. By Allah, I know that no one could have told you except Allah. Praise is to Allah that he has guided me to adopt Islam and has shown me the right path. لقد من الله على المؤمنين إذ بعث فيهم رسولا من أنفسهم يتلو عليهم آياته ويزكيهم ويعلمهم الكتاب والحكمة وإن كانوا من قبل لفي ضلال مبين. The Prophet peace be upon him said. Educate your brother about the religion and teach him the Qur'an, and release his prisoner. After Umair's heart was filled with the light of Qur'an, he came to the Prophet, peace be upon him, and said, I have caused much harm to those who were following Islam. I am now seeking your permission to go to Mecca and call its people to believe in God and His Messenger. If they accept it from me, they do well. If they do not, I will inflict harm on them in the same way I used to inflict harm on the companions of the Prophet. The Prophet granted him permission. Since Umair left Mecca heading to Medina, Safwan was passing by the people of Quraysh and was telling them, In a few days you will receive a piece of news which will make you forget the Battle of Badr. Safwan waited for a long time and then gradually became more and more anxious. Greatly agitated, he would go out and ask travelers, Is there any matter that occurred in Medina? Eventually, a writer came and said, Umair has become a Muslim. The news hit Safwan like a thunderbolt. He was certain that Umair would never become a Muslim 
even if everyone on the face of the earth would become a Muslim. Umar ibn Wahhab, God be pleased with him, arrived in Mecca, and Safwan wanted to attack him as soon as he saw him. However, Umar said to him, Safwan, you are one of the wise people of Quraysh. Do you think that worshipping stones and sacrificing to them is right to be a religion? But I witness that there is no God but God and that Muhammad is the messenger of God. Umair, God be pleased with him, entered Mecca and he was a Muslim. He was determined to dedicate his life for the religion and to compensate what he missed and to preach for Islam day and night. He called people to justice, well-being, goodness and kindness. In few weeks, the number of those who were guided to Islam at the hands of Umair was growing more than anyone could imagine. Umair set out with them to Medina in a long luminous parade. Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu rka'u wa sjudu wa abudu rabbakum wa fa'alu al-khayra la'allakum tuflihoon wa jahilu fi allahi haqqa jihadih huwa jitabakum wa ma ja'ala alaykum fi al-deen min haraj ملة أبيكم إبراهيم هو سماكم المسلمين من قبل وفي هذا ليكون الرسول شهيدا عليكم وتكونوا شهداء على الناس فأقيموا الصلاة وآتوا الزكاة واعتصموا بالله هو مولاكم فنعم المولى ونعم النصير